Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to see how to perform drag and drop files into your own uh, application. So let's say that I have uh, this small application here and the idea is that once I uh, drag and drop uh, an outside file into this memo component uh, that that memo components can uh, can open that file and show its content, right? So if I have this folder here uh, I will simply drag and drop unit1.h here and as you can see I have a plus sign which means that this memo component will accept the drag and drop files and once I release my mouse button uh, it opened that file meaning it showed it content. Uh, I can select another file here as well right pretty much it works as intended but of course uh, if I select multiple files uh, it will report an error because uh, memo component can open uh, one file at a time, right? So how to do that? How to enable drag and drop files into your own application? Well, there are two things. Uh, first one is to add this application events component. It is uh, under the additional uh, set of components. Uh, here it is, uh, additional uh, application events. Uh, what's important in this component uh, are not properties because there are very few of them, but the events. Uh, uh, what really uh, happens uh, with this component, it can track messages uh, that are uh, sent to your application, uh, pretty much everything that happens in your application. So everything that happens, like uh, drag and drop, like uh, click of a button, mouse move, uh, as such things, th those are all events that are handled by messages. And uh, what, I'm, uh, what I need to do here is to specify when some message uh, occurs, uh, how to handle it and once I open uh, this event here uh, what I'm pretty much asking here is that the message uh, uh, drop files so uh, am I trying to drop files that is what I'm asking uh, okay and if it is then find the number of files by using this uh, statement here if that number of files is not one uh, then it's uh, too many files because what we are trying to do is to show the content of a single file in a, a memo component and uh, if uh, it is only one uh, file then uh, get the file name of uh, of that uh, uh, file that you that you dragged into your into memo uh, component and uh, once you get the file name then uh, load the content from that file name uh, and uh, also don't forget the uh, constructor. Uh, constructor has this statement here which enables the memo one component to uh, drag and drop uh, files. So uh, that's why when I um, have uh, a drag and drop operation I have a plus sign here because uh, memo accepts the dra drag and drop files. But for example, if I try to uh, drag and drop somewhere else on the form, for example here, as you can see, this is not allowed because I haven't enabled drag and drop on any other component but the memo component here, right? That's what it says here. So the code is very simple, like I said. Uh, we treat everything that happens as a message and we simply check if that message is a drop files. If it is, then see how many files uh, have you dropped. Uh, and if it's only one file, then uh, get its file name and then load the content in memo uh, component uh, of that file name. So very simple. Uh, but uh, for example, sometimes you want uh, to um, uh, drag and drop multiple files. As we can uh, see here, that is not possible in this case, uh, as I already showed you, because a uh, memo component cannot open multiple files at once, but for some reason, for example, you want to uh, f uh, your user to be able to select and, uh, and drag and drop multiple files. For some, for example, you are creating a, uh, an application that can encrypt multiple files, then uh, it will be, for example, useful to uh, for user to be able to drag and drop multiple files into your own application. And we can demonstrate that here as well. So I'll just delete this uh, memo here here and um, I'll add um, uh, list box for example okay so the list box component and uh, what I'll do here is uh, I'll say drag and drop files in that list box component okay 
and uh, now I'm not going to say uh, that I want to limit drag and drop uh, to only one file because uh, in this case I want multiple files to be able to be selected and uh, pretty much once I uh, get the number of files that has been uh, drag and dropped uh, I want to uh, get a file name for each and every of those so um, I'll just do it like this And now um, get the file name for each of those and um, so this is not going to be zero uh, it's going to be uh, iterator because I want to get the file name for the currently uh, selected file and once I get that file name I'll display it in a list box Okay, and it's probably going to be useful to uh, clear the list box uh, in the very beginning of everything. Okay, so let's see. Uh, if it's just one file, now I got uh, its full path. And of course, you can always extract file name. You have those functions, extract file name, extract file directory, if you just want directory. And if I uh, select everything, now I have everything. Uh, I'll just select portion, for example, just to see that this will works. And as you can see, now I am able to uh, drag and drop multiple files and uh, uh, actually uh, get all the info that I need. Uh, who, uh, what are those files? What are their uh, file names, uh, locations, etc. And that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, I believe this can be very useful, especially if you uh, develop your application uh, uh, so that it works with some uh, outside files. And uh, well, uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you soon.